Hello guys, Callum here, and I am back for our sixth episode, I believe it is, it's five or six, I believe it's your sixth episode of your plugin tutorials. So today I'm going to teach you about potion effects. Now, that's why I've got this open. I was just about to make an episode on something, but it messed up, and in the end, I... In the end, the video ended up like 50 minutes with me trying to debug it, and I don't fancy going through all that again, so I think I'm just going to tell you guys about potion effects and how to use them. So, potion effects are really quite simple. Now, the thing about potion effects is it, it's simple, but you can get it complex if you do it right. So, what we need to do, we need to make a command for potion effects. So we're gonna go down here. I'm gonna go else if uh, label dot equals gonna our case. Um, uh, portion. Now what we need to do? We need to do if args dot length is equal to two. So there's gonna be two args. There's gonna be the portion timer, and there's gonna be the portion. So. Oh no, it's going to be 3, because it's going to be the strength as well. So what we need to do, we need to do... Uh, player dot add portion of... Well, no, if... Args 0 dot equals ignore case... Speed... And else if... Args 0 dot equals ignore case... Jump... And I'm just going to do one final one else if args zero dot equals ignore case. No, it's here. So these are the three ones that we're going to do. So first thing we need to do, we need to get the portion timer. So int time equals args not integer dot pars int args one. Um, what's that? Two. Oh yeah, the strength. Then int strength equals integer dot pars int args two. Okay, so what we need to do? We need to do player dot add portion effect new portion effect new portion effect type. No, just portion effect type. Uh, speed time times 20 because um, there's 20 ticks in a second so you need to times the ticks by 20 if you wish to get the correct time and then we will just do strength tick 1 because it starts at 0 so 0 will be number 1 yada yada and that's it. So we're just going to copy that there and there. And then we're just going to do a jump boost. See, this is why those coders sound retarded in games. Because what was like, uh, you know the sickness, right? You know the confusion. What 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 do you mean by confusion? You know, just confusion. No, no, co confusion's not real. It, it, the one that makes your swing go wiggly. Oh, nausea. Yeah. Uh, we end up sounding like retards when we get in game, I swear down. Okay. And that is it for potions. Now, if you are an observant one, you know we need to get this command. So we need just to go get command potion. We need to put it in our plugin.yml. Potion description. Adds a portion effect, and there's just two more things we need to do. We need to argument handle. So we're just going to do it down here. Else, player dot send message chat color dot red plus uh please. 
pick speed, jump, or nausea. And then we're just going to do else. Player dot send message. Is my mic? No, it's not muted. Chat color dot red plus usage slash potion effect time in seconds and strength. Okay, and down here we don't need to put anything. So now if we refresh our plugin. So guys, this is basically a fully functioning plugin. This is basically done. Um after this I'm gonna move on to a full blown plugin which I will put on bucket. But as for this, this was just a little tutorial just to show you guys what you can be expecting for the future. So I can use slash portion speed. Oh yeah, two I want. Two. No, I want it for ten seconds and I want strength two. So it's gonna be speed two for ten seconds. Now if I do speed two. Oh yeah, here's something you want to watch out for. If someone goes like that, infinity. So that's something that you do want to watch out for. You can make an if statement to avoid that, but I'm not going to do that. And then we can do jump for 10 seconds, and I want jump 100. No, that's not going to work. Look at my console. Well, jump 5. And we can just put speed, 10, and 10. And then finally we can use nausea. No, I want it for 10 se I mean 5 seconds and I want nausea 10. I want it for 12 seconds and I just want to add you 10. And that's it. Now you can add multiple portion effects at once, just make sure you don't go to too high of a number in time, otherwise, it goes to unlimited. What you can do, you can use the if statement just to check it's at the limit for how long it is. I don't know how long the limit is before it becomes unlimited, but yeah. Um, this has been your sixth. Java tutorial on how to make a plugin. Goodbye.